Hello, my name is Svetlana Lee and welcome to my weekly vlog. In this vlog, we're gonna unbox my new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and spend the whole week with a new phone. I will share with you what I like and what I don't like about the new phone. So stay tuned! We are Tuesday noon and I have a very bad headache. I tried to have some medicine like Advil and Russian medicine and Turkish medicine and nothing helped. <sighs> So my mom told me I should try having aspirin and um, espresso shot. So I got some Moss Moss espresso. And I'm now gonna have aspirin and let me know if that helps from migraine. I had to close all the blinds because the bright light irritates me even more. Oh. And I can't believe it, but the barista spelled my name correctly. That never happens. Ooh. Okay, I will let you know later if that helped. Oh well, I think aspirin and then just a short word. And it's been... It took an hour, but now I feel much better. I still keep all the blinds um, shut because I have like something a slight headache still, but it got much better. I can think now and I can operate like a human being. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm a huge Samsung fan and look what I just got! It's a new Galaxy S24 Ultra and we're gonna unbox it together! This is very exciting. Okay, let's see. color is so beautiful uh, I forgot what's the name of the color it's uh, titanium violet so beautiful I'm currently using S23 Ultra and this one is much lighter and it's very very flat How do I turn it on? <laughs> I don't know how to turn it on. Oh my God. Uh, I thought it's this button. Oh, I got it. So exciting. So I'm gonna be testing the phone. So it's gonna be a week in the lab with Samsung Galaxy. Taking this into account, it's Tuesday evening. It's gonna be more like half of the week with Samsung Galaxy but I will be sharing with you my user experience and any cool features because I watched a lot of videos and it looks like this is uh, this phone has a lot of AI features which I'm very excited to try and yeah i will the whole week i will be just sharing with you everything about the battery the usability the productivity and of course photo and video quality
I'm gonna be eating leftovers from yesterday. It's some um, leftover loaded pierogies. So I was using the phone for four hours today and the battery is at uh, uh, 56%, which I think is very impressive. The display is a little bit dimmer than Ultra S23, uh, but I knew that because I watched the videos before. So the rest I will share with you later. Yeah. I don't like cooking, but I feel like I need a better solution for my food. I wonder what's that, what that could be. My packages came. And I believe my case for um, this new phone is uh, arrived, so I'm gonna go pick it up and try it on. Picked out my packages. This is the new case. This is a case with two screen protectors. Clear. Uh, nothing exciting, but I ordered a titanium violet. Well, I think it's just it, it's called just violet. Um, silicon uh, case from samsung side and i think it's coming tomorrow but for now just to keep it safe it has like a little bumper here to protect the cameras i think on my s20 i broke the camera like three times uh, most of the times i had just broken camera because i broke it once and then i went to fix it under the warranty and it broke in like a week so I fixed it for second time. Uh, so no, I fixed it twice, but all the t but most of the time I was uh, uh, with broken camera because uh, it just broke all the time. So then I, w I went second time and it broke and I never fixed it again because I felt like there was no sense. Um, so this, I hope, well, this little bumper hopefully will protect my camera. First of all, the display is dimmer. I don't know, maybe it's better for my eyes. And this, I think it's because it's more anti-glaring. Um, but I don't know, I'm gonna miss the brightness of the old phone. And another thing that a lot of uh, reviewers were happy about is that with this model, they got rid of the edge on the display. And I honestly loved it. So the other thing that I will be missing is edge. I felt like it's something that makes Samsung to stand out and it just gave me fuller view whenever I was watching my videos. Now I just feel like it cut off on the borders, which I personally don't like, but it was a great deal. Um, I had an old phone and the moisture got inside it, so it was not working, it didn't turn on, I couldn't do anything with that. And I was just keeping it, I don't know, hoping for the best and I guess the best happened because uh, Samsung offered me $700 for a phone that didn't work and I thought it's a good deal. But I am still uh, learning how to use all the AI features which I thought were pretty cool and helpful in life and I will be sharing with you um, them later. After last week I decided I should have some variety of uh, breakfast so uh, today it's uh, corn pop uh, cereal. Uh, yesterday I had bagel. Um, so I'm working on variety. I guess I add some raspberries and some blueberries. I'm 
I'm watching Money Heist Berlin. It's pretty. Well, it's not as good as Money Heist original one, um, but it's still interesting to watch. So this is my second full day using the new Galaxy S24 Ultra. Today's screen time was 7 hours and I'm still at 26%, which I think is not bad. In general, as I told, it's very similar to my S23 Ultra. I just got a very good deal, um, that's why I decided to get a new phone. Uh, but there are a couple features that are pretty cool and I tried them. I'm gonna show you the first one which is... Oh, and the one thing that I don't really like is that the stylus is gray color, which I think they could have done it the same color as my phone. One of the features that I thought are pretty cool is um, generative AI and you can do um, editing and before that I would always do this through Lightroom and it would sometimes it would take me hours i was looking at this image and honestly before that before that i wouldn't even try removing that jacket or next to me but um i tried this time and, and it worked pretty cool we're gonna show you how you do it so you edit and all you do is um select what you want to remove and just delete it and put and push generate button look it removed it completely and i think it's so cool uh i really like this feature i think i will be using it a lot there's always someone who you don't want to be on your pictures okay and there's another cool feature that i really really liked it's when you can add something okay, so i found a, a good picture to edit so this is my picture from my last trip to istanbul and maybe i'm going to add a little bit more on the side so what i do is um push this generative button and do like this and just generate magic is happening now I think it's just mind-blowing. The AI ed edits some parts here and here and here and they just look so nice and organically. I think that's amazing. Now let's try to delete this. Wow, this added some face to this guy. I wonder if I can delete the guy. Wow, look! Oh my god, I was trying to delete this guy through Lightroom, but manually it just didn't work very well. These are two very cool features that I will be using a lot. Another one, so there were one pair of glasses that I really really like on one girl on Instagram and I couldn't find the brand and, and now I'm gonna try to see uh, if AI will be able to find these glasses for me. Okay, so these are the glasses that I really, really want. And let's see if AI will be able to um, find for me the brand and model. It did! Oh my god! That's so cool! Okay, this is definitely something that I will be using a lot. Very cool features. I have two more days for you to film and share my opinion. But so far, um, it's not bad. Hi everyone, it's Friday and it's such a nice day in Toronto today. I think it's plus 12, one of the uh, all-time highs. And it's just so beautiful and I had a couple packages that I have to return. And I decided I will return them today and take you on this wonderful walk. Look at these ships, they're so pretty. And the water, and it's so warm. With you still on my mind to pack my things and leave it all behind. On Saturday, I was able to visit a very cool event, Ontario Cheerleading Competition. It was super cool to watch all these talented people competing against each other, they're very athletic. Um, I really enjoyed the show, but it also was a great opportunity to test my new camera. And as you can see, the quality is amazing. 
I love the colors even with cat x zoom look at this quality you can see all the faces and all the emotions even though I was so far from the same here I am with my new Galaxy S24 Ultra I got a new case which is very similar to the color of the phone uh, and I like it much better it's silicon and it just feels a little bit better so I will be using this one instead of the clear one that I showed you I just wanted to sum up uh, the whole week with almost a week with um, Galaxy S24 Ultra well, let's start with something that I don't like first of all the display is much dimmer um, I don't know maybe it's better for my eyes but as a user experience I feel like not as nice um, as, um, as my S23 Ultra another thing that I don't like is I do miss edge display I liked how it was a little bit curved and it was a little bit over so I felt like it was a fuller view for me I wish my stylus was uh, the same color as uh, the phone now it's grey it's a very minor detail but I felt like I, I was expecting um, violet stylus as well now let's switch to something that I do like I think all the AI features are mind-blowing I wasn't able to use the live translation but I used photo editing, uh, search and I used a little bit of summarize uh, which is pretty cool. You, you find an article and ask it to summarize it to me. It's not perfect, but it's still uh, pretty cool. It's a little bit faster and more responsive. In general, I will be enjoying the new phone. It's uh, always more exciting to have a new piece of technology. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and see you next week.